Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick video, or I'll try and keep it as quick as possible, on doing a power distribution board and basically how I've gone about laying out uh, this CGX250. Now this is the second build that I'm actually doing, and I was going to originally do it with the lift kit, and what the lift kit does is allow you to actually separate uh, these two plates. Uh, it gives you, I think, about just over a centimetre of separation. And what that does is allow you to fit a lot more electronics underneath it, as in your wiring, your power distribution, and even your ESCs. So it's a, it's a really good way of actually uh, getting rid of most of the mess. But I had a number of people ask me to actually do this video without uh, the lift kit. So um, I've gone ahead and uh, wired this up. I've got it basically done and I'll run through exactly what it is that I've actually done with this and how I've gone about doing it. So first things first, I wanna go through the layout of exactly what I've done. I've got my FPV camera, that's just in a plastic uh, mount and it's held down with double-sided tape and the same with the NAS Air 32 board, that's in a plastic casing and underneath that I've got double-sided tape holding that in place. So that's the way they go together. Now I've got LEDs at the back, at the back and also the front of this multi-rotor so I need to provide power to those. And I'm also gonna have my video transmitter located um, towards the rear end of the multi-rotor, and I'm gonna be providing power to that. The power going to the camera is gonna come from the video transmitter. So, this is basically wired up and ready to go, and I'll show you exactly what I've got. This is my power lead, which is what's gonna plug into the actual battery, and that's gonna be cut down to length uh, once I've got the quad built. I've got a couple of um, wires here too, this a positive and negative, and they're gonna power my video transmitter. And I've also got much thinner wire, and this is like, a, well actually it's actually servo wire, and that's gonna connect up to the rear LEDs. And I've got the same thing at the front end, which is gonna connect up to the front LEDs. So that sort of tucks most of the wires out of the way and keeps it underneath the frame and keeps it quite neat. Now I wanna show you what's actually underneath this. So if you look very carefully, I'm not sure how well you're going to see that. So if you look really carefully, you can see these, these wires are actually pretty flat the way they're laid out. And I'll show you exactly how I've actually gone about soldering those. Um, so they're basically tucked in there and then through the holes, the ESCs sort of push through and they mount onto the arms. So I basically constructed this without this bottom plate on. And once I was happy with it, I put the bottom plate on and closed everything up and lay these wires out in their correct position. So I'm going to show you exactly how I've gone about doing this power distribution. So hopefully you can see that reasonably well. Um, this is just a silhouette of a CGX250 and I'm going to go through and explain exactly how I've gone about wiring this. So the first thing I want to do is a really quick diagram. So now what I'm going to do is uh, draw up exactly how I've gone about wiring these. First thing I'll, I'll do is actually draw up where the ESCs, I'll do the positives first. So what you have here is the positive from one ESC, the positive from another ESC, and also this is uh, the wire that's going to go to your LED, and that's just servo cabling that I've used. And I'll show you that a little bit later on exactly how I've gone about doing that. And then what I do is basically strip this end um, twist those together and uh, tin the actual um, the ends. So I'll drop the rest of it. So that's the same with the rear end. And what we'll do now is do the XT60 connector. And this is our video transmitter. So now we'll do all of our negatives. So that's basically the way the wiring looks, and obviously we've got wires that go off to the motor, motors, sorry. So what I want to do now is actually show you how this is wired up and try and illustrate it as best I can. So we'll start with these. We've got a wire that goes to the ESCs, ESC. We've got a, another wire, which is much thinner. And that's your servo wire that goes to your LED. And then we've got another wire, a little bit thicker, and that goes to your other ESC. 
what I'm going to draw now is uh, the power wires coming from the XT60 and the video transmitter. So once again we've got a thinnish wire. And this goes to your video TX and a much bigger wire which goes to your XT60 connector. So what you're going to do is, these wires are going to come out like so. And you're going to twist these together. And then you're going to tin it. Now the same thing is going to happen here. And these two will be wound together again and also tinned. So now we're doing this wire here. So we've got our three wires, two from the ESC and one for the LEDs. So these will come together and then get, then get wound together again to a twister together. And then what you're going to do is basically tin that. So once you've got all these three tinned, you're going to actually um, solder them together and solder them together flat. So they're going to lay down pretty flat. And that will allow you to actually tuck it in underneath. And obviously what you, I'll just do this better. That view there is this view here. And what you're going to do before you do that is actually slip on reasonable size heat shrink over this side first. And then once you've soldered it together, you'll slide the heat shrink on and then um, shrink it back down again. So that's the way they're going to go together. So hopefully that actually makes sense. This will allow you to make up quite flat wiring, which will allow you to tuck it underneath the CGX250 or any other quad for that matter. So what we've got here is two ESCs here. Get these the right way around. I'll tuck the um, servo lead back. And what I've also got is a typical servo cable. And what I've done with mine is I've just basically taken the white off. And then what I've done is strip these down. And then what I've done, this is the way I've gone about doing this. Now hopefully you can see this reasonably well. Is I've brought all these three together. Like so. Then when these twisted these together, once I've twisted them together, I'm actually soldered them and try to keep them flat like so. Now once you've done that, uh, for the positives and the negatives, and you can basically bring the wires together and solder them up flat. So basically this is the way I've gone about doing it. So you've got all your um, positives together, and this will go off to your uh, LEDs, and you'll make up two of these, and obviously you'll do the same for the black wires. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Solder it up as flat as possible. So um, if you can imagine, we've got these three that come together and then you've got another one butted up this way and then butted up that way and then you solder them all together, slip, slip the heat shrink on and shrink it back on again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And that's allowed me to actually tuck these wires in here without bowing or bending the actual frame itself. And that's worked out quite well. So it's nice and neat. Um, that's the way I've gone about doing it. Other things you can do is um, remove the uh, remove these cables and solder your motors directly onto this, which will make for a much, much neater finish. I'm not going to be doing that with these because I'm going to be swapping motors in and out quite often. And so it's going to be easy for me just to go for a different layout. But pretty much that's all there is to it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The only other thing that I do need to add to this is once I've actually got the um, cabling done for the video transmitter, is I'm gonna to need to run a wire from the video transmitter to the FPV camera, and that'll just go in underneath too. So that's pretty much all there is to it. As far as putting one of these frames together, look, the CGX250 comes with fantastic instructions, so I don't, need th don't think I need to do a build for it. Uh, I don't think anyone's had any drama. The only thing they've had issues with is really just this layout of um, the wiring as in how to go about doing power distribution. The other option you've got available is there are power distribution um, boards available. You can mount one of those onto one of the, onto this and that will do the trick too. So um, I've just chosen not to use a power distribution board because I don't have one handy. And this works just as well for me. It's nice and neat, it's tucked away and it does the job. 
So anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found that useful and I will catch you guys later.